Uh, he is basically a Kevin Durant skills wise with Kareem Abdul Jabbar's body. Have you gotten a chance to see Victor Webinyama yet? Yeah, of course. I can miss him. That type of talent and skill, and it just puts a smile on your face if you play basketball, you know? And the evolution of the game is taking us this far. You know what I'm saying? When we got seven, five dudes who's able to do everything on the court, you know? So he's inspiring to, other, to a lot of people out here. I heard a comment, he said, like, um, somebody compare him to a few players in the league. And he was like, I think I'll do myself a uh, disservice if I compare myself to one or two players. He wanted to take from everybody. I thought that was such a profound statement and uh, made me a big fan of his. So the league's, the league's really in trouble when he comes in. We'll, and I want to see how it plays out. and. Uh, Everybody's been excited for his uh, his arrival to the league, so we'll see what happens. He's, he runs like a guard, uh, he shoots like a guard, but he's 7'2", uh, he's super long, his wingspan is unbelievable, he's got a great motor, he wants to win, and his, uh, his mental is great too, mentally, mm. he wants to be the best. Uh, he is, he's incredible, man. Like, I believe in 2045, everybody is going to look uh, like Victor, but the way he skills the way he can shoot the ball, the way he can move. Uh, he's extremely fast for his size, can block shot, uh, can be a threat uh, on the offensive end. Uh, he's, he's unbelievable. Yeah, see the highlights were really good. Soft touch, uh, great length. You know, the true touch is when he gets to the next level, when he be able to take all the pressure and all the banging. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're playing against a guy that big, you have to take it to him. All the highlights I'm seeing now is him taking it to other people, but you know, when you get to this league, Zion's coming, the Joker's coming, Greek Freak is coming, like everybody's coming. So if he can handle that pressure, I wish him well. We've seen guys that size. I mean, when I got there, I'm playing against Xiao Ming. I saw Pozingis, I saw guys like, saw guys like this. But got at that size and play like a 6'8". <laughs> Six is God. When you're 7'4", it's impossible. And that's the craziest part I think about his game. He's the real deal. Uh, you know, I hope I hope he got great people around him. Uh, you know, I heard he got a great work ethic. He loves the game. So, you know, it's all set in stone for him. You know, uh, he just got to enjoy the journey. And, you know, we'll be here waiting for him. This kid shoots the three, handles the ball, gets into areas of the floor. Seven foot five, he's going to shoot over you. Not many guys can really defend him. And the ball handling is what makes him special to me. Yeah. Number one pick, I mean, that goes without saying. And he's definitely kind of a new prototype for, you know, the future of the NBA. A kid like that with the talent that he has, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of pressure. Uh, Rudy, that's, Rudy says that's his young fella. So I think he's I think he's really good. He's talented. I've asked him about questions, too. I think when he gets in the league, he, he has that height and everything. He could shoot. He could dribble and stuff. I'm excited. I want to. I'm ready to, to play against him and compete, and you know, just see him blossom into his career. Yeah, I think he's gonna be special. Rudy tells me a lot of high things about him as like as a uh, as a character, like just yeah. as his personality and stuff. That he's very uh, he's a very good kid. So that yeah. helps a lot when you're expected to be <laughs> generational talent.